Hey guys, Ross here. Happy to be back with you for another daily shave. So today's shave is going to be another dual review and today's review is going to feature Katie's Bubbles 322 as well as the West Coast Shaving Toothsome Head which was designed by Charcoal Goods. So we're gonna get right into it, get into a face lather. I've got the soap slash cream loaded up in my West Coast Shaving Honeycomb brush. We're gonna get right into it. So Katie's Bubbles has been around the wet shaving community for, I wanna say somewhere around seven years now. Has really been well established. The soap that they offer is vegan based. They have a number of different scent offerings. I would highly recommend, especially for beginners, taking a look at all of their offerings as really the, the scents, uh, it's a very wide range of scents that really you're bound to find something that you think you might enjoy. This particular scent, 322, has been around for, I want to say, at least four years now. Um, it did take a year off in 2019 as uh, one of the ingredients, or excuse me, one of the scent notes in this, particularly the black currant, um, really became... Uh, expensive as I understand the scent notes on 322 are vetiver patchouli oak moss and black currant now I will preface off the bat that this is not going to be a scent for everybody but um, given that this scent has stuck around for a number of years, it is quite popular. It is normally a fall slash Halloween type offering. The best way that I can describe this scent is it is um, a very dark, very earthy, sort of decaying scent. The soap name itself, 322, is based off of a secret society that um, was found at Yale University. So there's Certainly the mysterious nature to it and behind it. As you can see, this lather is building up quite nicely. It, um, it can take water. Just add a little bit more here. This is the luxury cream formula. Which I'm quite familiar with. I'm a big fan of the um, whipped jojoba cream formula that was offered in 2019 for the uh, West Coast Shaving Collab scent grapefruit. And it's really always been a solid performer. All right, so we're using the uh, West Coast Shaving 84 BT handle with the uh, upcoming Toothsome Head offering from West Coast Shaving. I've got my Gillette Silver Blue loaded up in here. 
This will be its second use, and I've got about three days worth of growth, so I've got a bit to mow down. So I'm interested to see how this goes. I haven't really had success with open comb heads in the past, but um, we'll see how it goes. Now to get back to the scent, as I mentioned, this is quite a formidable scent. As much as I actually really enjoy the scent, I find it difficult to give it a scent strength. I feel like this scent in general is just, it's very potent. Therefore, it can certainly come off very strongly. But I don't know that that necessarily correlates to this soap having intended to uh, be a very strong scent. Usually I find Katie's Bubbles scents to be fairly down the middle in terms of scent strength. Five or six. This one, I would certainly, if I had to, I would put it probably somewhere around a seven, seven or eight. I would consider this more of a, I would say a fun scent, because I don't think this is one that would uh, you would wear for date nights or outings with friends. But I, I do really quite enjoy this scent. Something I'm I'm a fan of vetiver, so this this particular vetiver note in this soap is Haitian vetiver. Which I find to be a little bit darker. and bolder than your typical sort of grassy, earthy vetiver notes that you might find in other soaps. Wow, that was a uh, fantastic first pass. No issues with that, with that first pass. Very smooth. The soap is got plenty of slickness. Slickness is outstanding. Razor is just gliding. Now, in terms of the comparison for Toothsome, the best way that I can describe it is that it is. It is essentially the lithe version, but an open comb. So the lithe is your milder head option. This open comb might add a touch more efficiency. I don't really notice a difference in blade feel from the lithe, which is fine. I usually prefer little to no blade feel, but it's almost impossible to, uh, to find an eraser. Just add a little bit more water here. Given that this is a 
cream soap formula. It is a little bit softer. It is more like a crope out of the tub. I find it does make it a little bit easier to just scoop some out and either apply it to my face or bowl lather. I wouldn't necessarily recommend loading this directly from the tub since it is so soft. If you were, I would probably only recommend just a, a brief swirl or two. Otherwise, you will take out a significant amount of soap. This razor is really, uh, this head is just mowing it down. I will say, uh, the, so far, you can see there's definitely some visible streaks there. They're not quite as prominent as most other open comb designs that I've seen or used, but that really has no significance in terms of its ability to shave. I do think this does hold true to being most like the lithe head. I do feel like I could actually use this, this head design as a uh, daily driver. As with the other heads as well, I don't find any, there's no drag. I think the slickness of the soap has a lot to do with that. The, the top cap, it is, uh, it, it is a little bit odd looking. I will admit that it's, uh, it's quite pronounced, maybe a little too pronounced for most. Um, really, I think that's just an aesthetic uh, quality, if you will, or an aesthetic preference. I think a lot of people do prefer flatter, sort of cleaner design, but, um, but I certainly understand where it's coming from. Um, especially for beginners, it's just so easy to kind of ride that top cap to find that angle and just maintain it. And it really will reward you throughout the shave. Wow. Just, just excellent. Um, no complaints at all. Very smooth, very comfortable. No complaints whatsoever. I will say that uh, Katie's being vegan was really one of the first vegan uh, formula soaps that uh, for me personally really kind of bridged that gap between vegan and tallow. I think that sort of debate uh, is really starting to go away, if you will. There's just so many other great vegan offerings on the market today. Just off the top of my head, Grooming Department um, and, and Zingari Man, they both have fantastic vegan offerings. Holy Cow, another one. It really is, um, it, that, that 
gap is starting to close. So um, if, if you're in the market or if you haven't tried any vegan based soaps because you have a preference for tallow, I would highly recommend checking out Katie's Bubbles. It's, it's really a fantastic formula and has withstood the test of time, really. All right, so I'm gonna be applying the 322 before and after shave splash. So you could also use this as sort of a pre-shave before you get lathered up. This does contain denatured alcohol. Really, really simple ingredient formula. It is, it is quite nourishing. It really just adds to the excellent post-shave feel that the, the cream provides. And as my, one of my late favorite wrestlers, Macho Man, Randy Savage once said, the cream will rise to the top. And really, that's what this does for me. And I think 322 is a fantastic scent. So if it at all sounds appealing to you, if you're willing to uh, take a flyer on a really bold, unique sort of scent, I would highly recommend checking out 322. Well, that's it for me, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the shave. I know I did. Look forward to seeing you for the next one. See ya.